Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scarborough Country, the Virus Edition, aka the Panty Pods, Look aka who's... two guys switch positions. Okay, aka two men, one Afghan. AKA two men, one salmon. Okay, AKA two Wolverines, one Sclarantine. We are on different sides of the couch. We just thought we'd switch it up. Why Every not? Every once in a while, you got to put your hand across the aisle and go to a new place. That's right. And uh, we want to, uh, we're about to, we're recording this on Friday. We're about to do our live stand-up show for JFL, which we're starting to do every Friday. So check that out. Uh, that's on the JFL Just for Laughs uh, Facebook, Facebook page, page and on the YouTube page. We got great comics coming up, friends of ours who are going to do it. So we'll be hosting that. That's super fun. So we we want to get this in before we do that. So let's, let's jump, jump right, right in, in shall we, it. Jay? All right. Look, no one ever wants to wear a mask. That, By the way, that's not a partisan issue. No, it's common sense. Look, I'll throw on my mask right now and I'll show you. It's uncomfortable, right? It sucks. I love my mask. I think it's fantastic. This is not comfortable. Convenient. No. We this get is it. not a convenient part of my life. But this is what we're going to have to do when we go out until we get a vaccine. That's, That's just right. the way it goes. That's right. It's not foolproof and it's annoying. It's this like, is how we're mitigating the damage of the thing without a vaccine. This so when our stupid vice president shows up at the Mayo Clinic without a mask on, or, or our, our stupid, stupid president shows up at a mask making factory. Where every three feet, there's a sign that says you must wear a mask, and he doesn't. He wears some Kareem Abdul-Jabbar glasses. Looking like a dipshit. Then you know this is going to divide along party lines. Yeah, and it's going to be the kind it's of It's like thing. a Rorschach test. Right. It's like it's anyone, like a Rorschach test. Right? Anyone who looks at this is like, this is a infringement on my civil liberties. Hey, you know what else is an infringement on your civil liberties? Death. Yeah. Death that, that, ends that up inf- restricting your civil liberties. Yeah, exactly. So, look. It, by the way, what do you lose by setting an example for people? To that's win? what I. I thought the same thing when I saw Trump at the at the thing. And look, we're not trying to make this political, but it is a little. When you do something dumb, we got pointed out. That's right. What do you have to lose to put a mask on? Nothing. I don't love it. I don't love wearing a mask. But you could set an example, and millions of dummies could put on masks to make it safer what if for you, me. What if you? Hey, dummy. I don't care if you kill each other, and I don't care if you kill yourself because you're too stubborn to wear a mask. But the second you walk around and don't wear a mask and it affects me and my children. Why don't you make Make America Great Again masks, you dummy? You could make so much money. So we've got a new excuse from a Republican official that, in my opinion, Randy, takes the cake. So this for why this, this is the dumb in the right. in the pantheon of dumb excuses of why I'm not going to wear a mask. This one literally takes the cake and shoves it in our masked faces. It's right? a new low. It's, it's a Ralph Nader, if you will, Republican Ohio State Representative. And I didn't put Ohio State next to each other on purpose. Just, but yeah, Representative Nino Vitale. Nino V. Hey, it's a Nino Vitale. Hey, he took it to Facebook. I'm not even going to call him Vital. Hey, like you took it to Facebook. You took it to the face. I'm putting you face in a book. Of course, I take it to the face in a book. I put you face. You think, I I would have thought he would have put this thing on TikTok. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Uh, so he took to Facebook to say that despite the potential dangers of coronavirus yeah. and its ability to spread quickly. So I'm glad he acknowledges that. He's refusing to wear a mask covering his face because it hides the image of God. Uh, no. No, it does not. No, it does not. It hides your ugly ass face, which, by the way, put the mask on. I need a vitale. Uh, so I'm guessing he doesn't ever want his little kids to get face paint unless it's blackface. Unless it's blackface. That's the only paint that he's going to allow. Do your kids do Halloween? Yeah. That's that's a temporary mask covering the, the image of God. God. I guess you don't let your kids celebrate Halloween. Get yeah. out of here. You're a liar and you're a fraud. That's Nino right. And, and you made our list of people. You got to go. You got to go. done. You got to go. Why should an in- innocent person die because you think you have the face of God. You yeah. don't. Why should an innocent person die when you're ready to meet God? You're ready, dude. Yeah. You should be the one. Yeah, exactly. So he opposed his governors. There's a Republican governor who like put it out there like mm-hmm. we have we're going to make a mandate that wear that you wear a mask and then a bunch of people came back at him he's like, "All right, well we can't mandate it. We're going to walk that back and we're not going to mandate that you yeah. wear the mask." Yeah. So he 
he's say he going up against the governor and he used the masks don't, don't work, work hashtag. hashtag. If you hate Nino now, and I know that a lot of you guys hate him now, just, just wait till you hear this dummy's quote. You quotes. are gonna hate him so much more. First quote: This is not the entire world. He wrote, "What what does that mean?" Yeah, it is the entire world. You mean what? a global pandemic is not the entire world? Yeah. That is. The, uh, the, I guess he's saying the entire world hasn't died yet from corona. No, but the, the entire world has been affected. I've actually never seen anything in our lifetime affect the entire world like this. Right. So I don't this, think there's been anything that since, has been so global. Yeah. So, yes, it is the entire world. You dip shit. This is next quote. This is the greatest nation on earth founded on Judeo Christian principles. Don't drag the Jews down. That's the right. Jews. That's We're it. We're Jews. We're not don't in your take, dumb thing. Don't take us in there. Down we wear there. masks. Yeah, exactly. We wear masks to synagogue. Don't. Yeah. We wear a. I'll Zoom a bar mitzvah if I have to. Uh, that's right. I'm going to Zoom a bar mitzvah on the 16th of May. I'll, bitch. Z- I'll Zoom a goddamn bris if I gotta. So he went on to write one. Okay. One of those principles, the Judeo-Christian principles yeah. of which he speaks, yeah. is that we are all created in the image and likeness of God. Mm-hmm. That image is seen the most by our face. So I have an idea. By our face? Wait, no, that's not even right. No. You aren't even making your dumb argument right, you dummy. Right. So so the the image is seen most by our face? So here's what I'm t- trying to say. The image is seen the most in, in our, our faces. Face. Say it right, you dipshit. Say it right. Here's what I say. Why don't you just get a mask with a picture of your face on it? Yeah. And then put that over your face. You can't even write your dumb thoughts down If right. it's so important that your image that you think is what God's image of a human being should be, get a mask with your, your face, face on, on it. it. Done. He also wrote, we think about the image and likeness of God. We I don't, don't. I don't. I, I never rarely do. think of the image in the I face never, of God. Ever, I've never been walking down. I've never been shopping. I've never been walking down the street and said to myself, you know what, what I'm what, thinking? What, what is- in, in a quiet moment, I'm just going to think of the image of God. Hey, if I did think of the image of God, it would be you wearing a mask right now. We're created in the image and likeness of God. How do you know that? Yeah. How do you know that we're created in the image and likeness of God? You're basing it on someone else writing that By down? the way, what if the image and likeness of God is just To a, wear a mask. What if God's wearing a mask right now? What if the image and likeness of God is just your outline? So it's like just a shadow. So it's the outline of your body. So you can't really see the details of the face, but just a general man. Or woman. Yeah. He continued, when we think of image... Do we think of chest or legs or arms? Yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, that is image, image of a man. Of a man, whole body. I think of all those whole things. Whole body. We think of face. Who is we? Why are you grouping me into your? And dumb why post? are you talking like you're losing every article in your sentence? Like you're a. We a, think of face. We think of face. What are you like? We think of face. Are you like a trying to do a racist? Me no like math. Right. Are you trying to do a racist version of a Native American? Because that I wouldn't throw past you either. Also, by the way, in case you did, in case you wanted me. to know a little bit more of Nino Vitale, an elected official, by the he way. He also posted a conspiracy theory on his campaign Facebook page early in April saying billionaire Bill Gates, quote, wants to lock us down and profit by charging us for mandatory vaccinations. Nope. That's not what he's doing. The Post also falsely claims that Gates chose not to vaccinate his own kids. He did. He vaccinated his kids. And this idiot got elected. Yep. So to Nino Vitale, we say... Don't wear a mask. Don't. Tell all your dumb followers who elected you and got you into office, don't wear a mask. None of them. Have a big party celebrating your freedom. You can serve Clorox cocktails. Drink up! Right? Drink up! You are everything that is wrong in this world right now. It is so clear. It's almost like, you know, yes, the pandemic is horrible, and I'm sad that people have died, but it has certainly simplified things a lot, Mm -hmm. and it has made things so clear to me. That's right. This you are wrong. You are the wrong. Don't hide behind your religion to not wear a mask. Don't because isn't your religion be kind to others yeah. and do nice things for others? Do unto others as you, you would have, have them do, do unto, unto yourself. yourself. So don't give them a disease. That's maybe doing nice unto How others. How about you don't pass it along? Yeah. Or you know what? In this case, at this point, you can't be helped. So yeah. don't wear a mask. If for some reason you sadly get the coronavirus and a ventilator comes up, I would say this guy doesn't want it. He because doesn't want if to he cover has a face. mask on his face like a ventilator, that's covering the image of God. Don't give it to him. We don't want it. We don't, we want, don't you. want to disrupt his image of God. God forbid for even a minute. I know. We lose sight of this image of God. 
Let him rest just, peacefully. We're gonna let him just. We're just gonna let him just rest this one. Rest out. in peace, Nino Vitali. Rest in peace, bro. All right, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Shall we take a break? I'm into we it. We come back on the other side of this thing. We got one more crazy story, and it involves a city planning commissioner. Once again, what is going on? This is uh, Scarborough Country, the Virus Edition. So happy you're along with us. We'll see you on the other side. Hello. Guys, being home so much, especially during a crisis like this, can be a breeding ground for anxiety without the stability of the normal daily routine. I know it is tough. We have been trying ourselves to stay in a routine, to try and get work done, but it's hard. It's so hard. It is very easy to get overwhelmed. It is very easy to sit here and say, I don't know when it's going to go back to normal again. And so you have your normal anxiety that you live with. And now there's a mountain of world anxiety that's on your shoulders. Uh, people need therapy. I know this. My wife is a therapist. Uh, her practice has grown actually in this time because people are needing that connection. And so that is why I'm so grateful for, for our, our sponsor, sponsor, these guys for Mental Health Awareness Month. I'm just happy they're here. We're talking about talk space online therapy it's more uh committed than ever to expanding access for support for anyone because they get it they know what we're all going through right now you get the support of a licensed therapist from the safety of your own home you can reach out from your device whenever something is on your mind you can send your therapist a text audio picture or video messages from your phone 24 7 uh, as much as you need to. Everything happens within Talkspace's secure platform all on your schedule. They'll match you with a licensed therapist based on your needs and preferences. They have thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties, including the most important for right now, in my opinion, anxiety, depression, and relationship issues. And once you're matched, you can start the very same day. So they know. They know how immediate it yeah, needs just, to be. This crisis has reminded us that we're all vulnerable and that it's okay to reach out for support. Again, Mental Health Awareness Month. Got Let's take advantage of this talk space. You can connect with a licensed therapist to talk it out, all from the safety of your own home. So you're That's not another breaking. important thing. You're not going, you're not putting yourself in jeopardy, physical harm. Uh, here's, this, here's the bottom line. You deserve support. You don't have to struggle on your own. Your talk space therapist can be your dedicated support system there to help you feel healthier, more empowered. That's the way we want you to feel, our listeners, uh, even in these uncertain, uncertain circumstances. As listeners of our podcast, we're going to give you a nice offer here. You get $100 off your first month of Talkspace to match you with your perfect therapist, uh, just go to Talkspace.com or download the app and make sure you use the code SCLAR. You get $100 off. It also lets them know that we sent you that SCLAR at Talkspace.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I uh, want to mention we have this YouTube page that I love so much that we've got so much great content on. We've been putting all sorts of new stuff up on there. I love, I'm watching the numbers go up so people are watching the stand-up videos. You're watching old episodes of Cheap Seats. I love that, kind of getting ramped up into it. Uh, and we keep putting new ones up it's there. It's free to day. subscribe. Just yeah. go to youtube.com. Scarborough uh, Country. Search Scarborough uh, Country and you'll find it. Subscribe. Uh, Spend some time on the site. It's a great way to kill some time if you're looking around, just want to laugh. And it holds up surprisingly well. All of the yeah. stuff on there. I really it love it. Found a bunch of treasure trove of old stand-up and things like that. We'll throw that up there too. It'll just be good for a laugh. Uh, so check that out. YouTube.com Slabro Country. Uh, rate and review this podcast as well on iTunes. Just take a moment and rate it and review it. Give it five stars. You can say this podcast sucks. Five stars. We're okay with that. Yeah. Uh, thank you for doing that. Thank you for listening to this. And I'm glad that it's grown. Shall we jump into another Let's story? Let's do the last story of the day. It's been a bad time these days for city commissioners in these uh, times of city corona. planners, city, city commissioners, commissioners the, the whole bunch. The commissioners and city planners of this world seem to be the ones who are going off the rails the most. Well, maybe it's why because, is that? I think it's because they're feeling a lot of pressure. They're having ah. to plan for cities that are no they longer. They usually the have a plan, and there is no plan right now. Well, we're in a very we're in a precarious place. We're past their plans, right. and that's why they're going off the rails. So, do you want to hear yes. a story about a city commissioner in yes. Royal Oak, Michigan, which is a suburb just outside of Detroit? It's Detroit. kind of a cool area. Mark it, Ridley's Comedy Castle is there. Very cool. Lots of cool restaurants and things there. Okay, so this is a city commissioner from Royal Oak who has gone off the rails. Kim Gibbs. Kim Gibbs who has been in the news recently for participating in protests against the governor's stay-at-home order in Lansing. So great. She is now... By the way, I bet she doesn't even believe in it. 
I bet someone told her, hey, you're, uh, if you do this, enough of your constituents who are angry are going to vote you in again. No. That's how you get voting. She doesn't even believe in it. But she knows the difficulty of being an elected official. One of the That's hardest right. jobs of being an elected official is having to tell your constituents to do something that is unpopular, but for their own good. Well, it's so funny because it's like in middle school or in high school, if you walk on to, the, if you're running for class president, you're like, there's going to be soda fountains and there's going to be a slip and slide from the library all the way down to the it's bullshit. gym. You, none of that stuff is ever going to get made, but you're just making the promises that people want to hear. The people who step in and be like, hey, listen, guys, we have to study hard. Yeah. We're going to, we'll do our best to get you better. You lose. Lunch. You lose you if lose. you tell the truth. Sometimes you have to make unpopular decisions. For the good of the community. Sometimes you know better than the most vocal, stupidest parts of your community, and you have to stand up. You're the elected official. You are elected. Wait, your kids, if they, if your children wanted to, they would be on their iPhones and their devices, and they would eat ice cream for every meal, and they would stay up until 2 in the morning. If they You know better to, than them. You okay? have to step in and be like, you can do it until 1230. And yeah. yet... <laughs> This gal is out protesting with the rest of the mouth breathers in, in Lansing. That's, that's bad, bad enough. enough. If that was all she did, that's bad enough. She can, on her Twitter and Facebook page, lament how she wishes the government would reopen and offer a unique inside perspective to the safest and most effective way to do that. If she wants to do that, I'm all on board with that. Yes. yes. But if she didn't feel like she was being heard, that's a great thing to do. But to protest without a mask, gather when she should have been To me, without gathering. a mask. That's the part. I don't know if she didn't have a mask on, but I'm going to assume that she did. She didn't. Even if she had a mask on, you're gathering when you shouldn't be gathering, okay? Again. It's like she doesn't know how government works. Maybe she's a commissioner in name alone, Jay. A figurehead Royal Oak commissioner? Yeah. Possibly. Well, now she has to apologize to the community. You thought that was bad enough. That could have been just a whole story right there. Absolutely not. Uh, it, it ends up making the protest thing not seem like a fluke. Right now, she has to apologize to the community for something else she did that was stupid, making the protest again, Jay, seem like yes. it was part of a larger plan. Yes, of course. Or a larger issue. More like, this is who this dummy is. As and opposed to that was a fluke, and yes, the protest was one moment of bad judgment. So Gibbsy is apologizing now for shoplifting at a local store. The incident happened May 6th at a local Meyer. Meyer. We used to study at Meyer. So there was a Meyer nearby where we were in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And when all the library stalls were taken and people were already studying well, for finals. Round finals, it would get so busy at school. It we got would, a little intense. So we would go to Meyer and it was open all night. We would stay in the snack bar. We'd get super jacked up on slushies. On Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew and slush, just huge, just re free refills. And we'd just be eating bulk food and drinking Mountain Dew and writing review sheets and studying. Around three in the morning, we would go crazy. We'd go down in the store, put on the camouflage gear, and pick up unloaded... Uh, crossbows and chase each other around the store it was pretty magical it was good special. times it was special it, it was good times but we it's, never took anything meyer is the type of place that just for people who don't know you buy groceries school supplies crossbows hunting gear outdoor lawn furniture you can get an eye test you can get a pap schmear is it is, is it a schmear is it a schmear like a schmear of cream cheese I think a pap, it's a pap schmear. schmear i think it's schmear i think it's smear for jews it's schmear right for non-jews it's a pap smear that makes sense it was the type of place where one time I got a proctology exam. Actually, that was just someone in the parking lot in an unmarked van who stuck his thumb up my ass. But that anyway, was that was an old joke of ours. Huge Myers, huge Meyer. They called it Thrifty Acres. Acres, that's Acre. how big it is. Thrifty kind of like, Acre. It's like bigger than a Costco. Yeah. Or about the same size as a Costco. Yeah, it's like Costco-esque, but it's not Costco. You don't get the same acreage. So Gibbsy's attorney... Charles Sem Semchena Jr. released a statement on Gibbs' behalf saying that the commissioner made, quote, a serious indiscretion, which was brought on by stress due to the backlash from her attendance at the Lansing protest and the snowball effect it had on her. What the fuck? Okay. Are she, you, you're blaming the backlash for something you did. She stressed because she decided to protest like an idiot. Yeah, no nobody one, put a gun to your head right. and told you that you need to protest this nobody thing. So said you if, went out and you did that, and now you're blaming backlash at you for your dumb decision for your next dumb decision? So nobody kidnapped your children and then said it's to you- It's not kidnapped. Once it's, again, kidnapped. it's kidnapped. Nobody kidnapped your children and said, if you don't protest, you're not going to see your kids ever again. No, this was a stupid decision that you made on your own, and it showed your own irresponsibility. By the way, totally 
understandable backlash. Yeah. Against this person. People who are like, hey, you know what? We'd like to be safe and we'd like to wait till science tells us it's okay to come back out in the world. Because I don't want to see my elder family members die or me yeah. die. So that totally checks out that you would be stressed about that. Yeah, let her off the hook, guys. Yeah, she stole because she was forced to steal by all those bad people who criticized her. That makes it, That's a great point. That is a very salient point. Semchi, I can't even remember. Semchena says, Gibbs, who initially was asked by Royal Oak Mayor Michael Fournier to stop down, to step, step down. down, but was uh, ultimately censured by the board, has not been able to work and hasn't received an unemployment check. Hang on a second. She should have been asked to step down. Yeah. She was just censured. I don't even know what if that you, means. That means it's just like a suspended or something. She should have been fired. Her attorney says that her appearance on the April 15th protest has led Gibbs constant stress, anxiety, depression, and inability to sleep. Mm -hmm. How about the risk you put the policemen and women who were guarding the Capitol at? I guarantee you she was not wearing a mask. I'm going to guarantee that she wasn't. And by the way, they're not sleeping because idiots like you yelled in their faces without masks on, and so now they could potentially be sick. They're the ones who should be stressed. So, so sorry that your dumb decision has led to so much grief and anxiety for you. Gibbs released an apology, which you know will not be, be a It'll be the apology. most non-apology you've ever heard. I'm going to read this. I would like to apologize to my family, friends, and especially my constituents for my substantial lapse in judgment on Wednesday. You mean the time that you committed yeah. a felony or the time that you were protesting illegally a combination may 6th a combination of many external factors external which means you're not taking I'm take responsibility zero there. responsibility in turn led me to taking items from the meyer store without paying for all of them so in there she's like but i paid for some of them so i'm not a total i didn't pay for crook. all of them so that should let me off the hook That's that is a, not a full apology no that isn't even a half apology that's like a 30 percent apology an apology you imbecile goes like this. I'm sorry for being irresponsible and attending that rally and then going and doing something equally stupid like shoplifting. I am not fit to lead anymore. I am especially not fit to be leading my constituents. I'm sorry. I'm stepping down to do the first good thing that I've done in weeks to set an example who's ever made a couple of dumb mistakes like I made in their lives. That's an apology right there. That's it. That no, that's is not what it. you said. The economic impact of COVID-19 statewide lockdown has taken a serious toll on me personally. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're the only one, too. But like you- Tell us what it's like for you, because yeah, I mean, there's and, no way we can relate. And like you, everyone's gone out and shoplifted sure. as a result of that stress. Yes. I obviously was not thinking clearly, and I take full responsibility for my actions. You don't. You don't. Recently, I chose between insulin and food, and I chose the insulin, which helps me stay alive. However, Boo -hoo. that left the extraordinarily oh, supposed to feel bad little, for you? that left extraordinarily little money for food after paying for medical insurance and insulin. That feels like so a you meant to steal. Oh, by the way, you know what could have helped you pay for insulin? Universal health care, which I'm assuming you're against because you're an asshole. All right. You staunchly are against. Thanks to the support of family and friends, I'm now being treated by medical professionals for these issues and my type 1 diabetes, and I look forward to get back to you. Does your type 1 diabetes look forward to getting back to things as normal? We don't look forward to you coming back. So again, not taking full responsibility, blaming on blood sugar, blaming, blaming on, on diabetes. Way to take the high road. You're good at taking things, I, I she guess. She is good at taking things. She took the high road. She probably didn't pay for it. I deeply regret any issue or concern this has caused for my supporters. I have, I have realized- You don't have any supporters anymore. As I have uh, been told by friends that I need and am seeking help. I love that you couldn't figure out it on. Your friends had to tell you that. Because they think you're a klepto. That was Dummy. a word we used a lot in high school. Klepto. Becky Falkenberry was a klepto because she stole Jody Glassman's Forenza sweater. Remember that? Darcy, I think Darcy, Darcy Schusler's, Schusler's Forenza sweater. If anybody's got a friends a sweater, send it our way. I know that my opponent in November and the city commission will turn this incident into more partisan politics. However, kicking, they should. kicking people when they're down should not be condoned by anyone. Yeah, because you participating in a dangerous rally and then stealing from something from a Meyer should be off limits when discussing whether or not you are fit to lead. You I'd dummy. be afraid to kick you when I'm down because I think you'd steal my shoe. Way to get in front of it, by the way. Although uh, we can't, we can see what you're doing. Like you should be held accountable. There, there should be one question from the debate, from the debate stage. Who on this stage has stole something from a Meyer? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. And if you do, you're under oath. We have our new planning commissioner. Mm -hmm. 
Michiganders and people around the country are suffering with the economic and personal pain COVID has brought to every one of us. We need now more than ever to stand together as Americans and get back working so others do not face the same health consequences I'm facing. Hey, don't bring Americans into your thing right here. You're a klepto. Action 7, You're a klepto, Action 7 News reached out to the police regarding the incident and is waiting a response. I'm sure they're whipping up a killer response, and they're going to put it on Facebook because the cops are like your uncle. They, they love, throw it up on Facebook they love whenever Facebook. they can. And you know what? Once it goes on Facebook, you can share it, but you can't steal it. That's right. All you right, can't guys. steal it. Hope you had a great weekend. You're charging in the next week. Punch a water faucet. Wash your hands. Stay socially distanced, but stay connected. Don't get infected. And we will see you tomorrow. La-dee-da. la da la da Da-da